How long have you been married? Oh. Uh, this is <laughs> no. This is sixteen years. Is okay. it sixteen? Yes, yeah, sixteen. Okay, and over those sixteen years, mm. I mean, uh, what have you found the most helpful things to keep a strong and loving relationship going? I think first, um, accept each other for what you are. Um, that is to um, understand and accept your weaknesses in both of us, like in both persons, um, that we will make mistakes, that you know what our origins are, is that we're dust, you know, and that we're creatures, not created, creator. So we've got to remember that we're frail. And so give grace, you know, and go, okay, we're going to make mistakes and that's okay. Um, but also celebrate, you know, um, gifts and strengths and um, be joyful in that because they are blessings and they are the things that will bind and will uphold the marriage when those difficult times come. And I think, you know, in that sense, it's like, yeah, you got you to gotta sit with those. You'd be able to hold that tension. And I think that it's important because I think God reminds us, even in his word, that that is what happens. So, you know, and that is how he has made us, not just strong, but weak. And we can be, you know, um, a marriage can be strong when both know that we are weak. And, you know, when those time hits, it's like, yeah, we got, you know, we've got each other because we know that.